Thank you very much. Sabah al-Khair, everybody. So dear mm -hmm. partners, dear colleagues, and dear participants. First of all, I would like to welcome you uh, to our first sub-regional training dedicated uh, to the country of the, the Gulf and to Yemen, focusing on the theme of the 2021 edition of the World Water Development Report that is all about valuing water. First of all, let me thank uh, our partners, um, the Sultan bin Abdelaziz Al Saud Foundation, uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, in particular, Dr. Abdelaziz Al Magushi, the, the Deputy Director General for Media and Cultural Affairs. And then let me thank Dr. Uh, Walid Al Zubari, that is the Chairperson of the Water Science and Technology Association, for both supporting these activities, both in technical terms with their expertise and also for providing you know, the, the, the support. And last but not least, uh, our colleagues uh, from the World Water Assessment Program, and in particular, my colleague Henkin that is online with us. Almost a year ago, aligned with the global launch of the World Water Development Report 2021 on the World Water Day, as it is usually done, we organize a sub-regional launch in collaboration with the Qatar National Commission, the World and Qatar University. The online event was an opportunity to connect, exchange and share insights and experience with our regional partner. Today, we are gathered once again to explore more in detail the main finding and policy recommendation of the report and how to tailor it towards specific national and regional context, perspectives, and challenges. In this context, I would like also to highlight that in the past few years, our office that is based in Doha and cover the GCC in Yemen has been advocating for more scientific collaboration and creating opportunity to university and research institution to significantly contribute to national and regional development uh, priorities. New UNESCO chairs uh, have been established every year in the region in the field of the sciences, pulling resources together and mobilizing a wide range of partners. In particular, in the field of water science, I would like to mention the UNESCO chair for Halfalaj studies at the University of Nizwa in Oman, and as well the UNESCO chair for desalinization and water treatment at Qatar University, which will be soon be launching it officially. These UNESCO chair have the potential to contribute greatly and significantly to improve our understanding on how to, we can manage sustainability uh, of water of the most, which is the most critical resources, resource in the region. They are a great example on how the value of water can be studied and approached from different perspectives. While the chair on Alpha Lodge studies tackled it from the heritage and cultural uh, uh, values perspective, and on the 21st uh, February session, uh, um, uh, Professor Ali Karnib will, will touch upon that. Uh, the chair on desalinization and water treatment addressed the issue of water security from the perspective of water infrastructure and also technologies. And this is the topic of tomorrow's session. So I just want to underline the relevance of all this network that UNESCO is creating in the region. And of course is at the services and is the network that we are using as well to pass information, to gather data and to get the water community together. As presented in the 2021 World Water Development Report, the value of water has multiple and interrelated perspective. It can be measured in terms of impact on health and of course well-being, access to safe drinking water and proper sanitation services. But the value of water is also linked to a source, of course to its availability and how, and its benefit or impact on the economy through energy generation, industrial and agricultural activities and domestic uses. So water is everywhere in our daily life. During the upcoming four days, uh, our uh, chief trainer, if I might say so, Professor Ali Karni, 
will guide you and all the participants and the teams through the different approaches and methodologies to value the water across all these sectors. And I want to thank you, you already in advance, you know, for, for, for uh, bringing us through this uh, journey on what does it mean really uh, water and how we really have to approach it from a, a conservation point of view, but also in innovative way to make sure that we have enough water for all of us you know, to, be, to live a decent uh, life. To wrap up, I'm really confident that you will all benefit from this training, all the participants. But this is a gathering. It's a great opportunity, of course, to learn from the professionals, but also to share experiences. So I would really like to encourage everybody to follow the session, if you can, as much as possible, the session that are spread in different days, engage, interact, and be as much participative as possible. So thank you very much and uh, very good work ahead. And thank you again to all our partner for making this possible. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Ms. Anna Paolini. Uh, our next speaker was scheduled to be Dr. Abdulaziz Al Magushi, but unfortunately, uh, due to a health issue, he sent our excuses. We wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, and with that, I would like to give the floor to Professor Walid Al-Zubari, who is the Vice President of the Water Sciences and Technology Association. Professor, the floor is yours. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Angel. Um, uh, 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 can you hear me, Angel? Yes, Professor, we hear you, but there's I know, the, I know, the I need, background. I need to Can you hear me, Angel, please? Now yeah? it's much okay, better. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'll, thank you for inviting me to give you, a, you know, to, to be with you on the opening ceremony. I just would, I will be now switching to Arabic, uh, as you have requested. Um, uh, حول تقدير قيمة المياه و... أو تثمين المياه وأحب أتقدم بالشكر جزيل الشكر إلى منظمة اليونسكو ومكتبها في الدوحة ومؤسسة الأمير سلطان بن عبد العزيز على سعود الخيرية على تفضلهما بتوفير هذه الورشة لأبناء المنطقة وأنا أيضا سعيد بالمشاركة بين يعني جميع علوم تغيير المياه واليونسكو حقيقة يعني يقع موضوع هذه الورشة التدريبية في صلب موضوع المؤتمر الذي نقوم به الذي نقيمه الآن في العاصمة الرياض وهو الكفاءة الاقتصادية والاستدامة المالية يأتي تثمين أو تقدير قيمة المياه يعني ضمن أهم الأدوات المتطلبات الرئيسية لإدارة المياه ولتحقيق الكفاءة الاقتصادية والاستدامة المالية عشان أعرف يعني لوضع تعرف المياه يجب علي أولا أن أقدم قيمة هذه المياه وقيمتها للمستخدم وثم تكاليف هذا الماء ثم وضع التعرف على ذلك وأيضا لرفع الوعي للمستهلك بالنسبة, حق قيمة بالنسبة للمياه يجب أن يعرف هذا المستهلك قيمة المياه والترشيد فيعني كما يعلم الجميع أن معظم دول مجلس التعاون اتبعت أساليب إدارة مياه تعتمد على جانب إدارة العرض وليس إدارة الطلب وللقيام بالتحول من إدارة العرض إلى إدارة الطلب نحتاج إلى العديد من الأدوات وتأتي على رأسها الـ 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 الأدوات الاقتصادية التي تعتمد اعتماد كلي على تثمين المياه ومعرفة قيمته ومن ثم التعامل معها وأنا يعني لا أريد أن أطيل أكثر من هذا أنا متأكد أن أولا يعني أنا سعيد أنه المحاضر الدورة هو زميلي الأستاذ القدير يعني الدكتور علي علي كرنيب وأنا متأكد أن أهداف الدورة هذه ستحقق يعني ستحقق من خلال هذا البرنامج الذي تم تصميمه بشكل جدا جدا جيد لا أريد أن أطيل ولكن أتمنى للجميع التوفيق والاستنبار في هذا وأن يعني يتم أخذ جميع الأدوات والمنهجيات التي سيتم التعامل معها في تثمين الماء وهي كثيرة يعني ويعني متعددة ويمكن يكون هذا أهم شيء نطلع بمنهجيات على الأقل بسيطة لكن على الأقل تعطينا فكرة عن قيمة الماء 
وثم نطبقها في حياتنا العملية وهذا هذا ما لدي وشكرا مرة أخرى لليونسكو وشكرا لمؤسسة الأمير سلطان بن عبد العزيز آل سعود الخيرية لإقامة هذا النشاط نشاط لأبناء المنطقة وأتمنى أن تكون الفائدة يعني للجميع شكرا بروفيسور الزباري Thank you very much for this for this introduction for this uh, brief intervention. Now, um, if you allow me, uh, in fact, this training is completely in Arabic, fully in Arabic. It will be conducted in Arabic. But if you could, if you could please bear with me for just a few minutes for another introductory speech in English, and then it's a promise that the rest of the training will be fully in Arabic. Um, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of UNESCO World Water Assessment Program, I would like to welcome you to this training on valuing water. At the outset, I would like to express our appreciation to our donor, Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud Foundation of Saudi Arabia, for making this training possible. In fact, their generous training has allowed us to organize a number of trainings in 2018, 19 and in 2021. We we'll look forward to the continuation of our fruitful collaboration with the foundation. Another distinct appreciation goes to Ms. Anna Paolini, the director of UNESCO Doha office. Full engagement of the capable members of her team has allowed us to convene this online training, which will continue for four days. Today, tomorrow, next week on the 21st and the 22nd of February. I would like to recognize Professor Walid Al-Zubari as well, the Vice President of Water Sciences and Technology Association. It's thanks to his valuable support, this training is linked to the 14th Gulf Water Conference. We regret that COVID-19 pandemic prevented us from gathering in Riyadh in person. However, looking at the attendance statistics, we are happy to welcome participants from at least six countries in the GCC region and beyond. We are hoping that with the financial contributions of the foundation and with improvement in sanitary conditions, we would be able to organize face-to-face -face tra training sessions either in Saudi Arabia or in other countries in the Arab region in the near future. This training will be composed of four online modules that will be presented via Zoom platform today, tomorrow, and next week. We request you to participate in all four sessions, to benefit from the comprehensive presentations, and to be able to obtain the training certificates. During those four days, we will focus on valuing water. This is the topic of the most recent edition of the United Nations World Water Development Report. For those of you who may not be familiar with this report, it's the most authoritative publication of the UN system on the state of freshwater, how this resource is used, and how it is managed. Since 2003, our secretariat, the UNESCO World Water Assessment Program, produces the report in close collaboration with the various agencies under UN Water umbrella. The 2021 report, just like other recent editions, is translated into Arabic, thanks to the support of Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud Foundation. I will shortly share with you the download links in the chat box. Please feel free to share these links and the training materials with your colleagues in your respective organizations. The larger the audience we reach out to, the bigger the positive impact that we can create. The focus of the training, valuing water is very critical for all regions. However, it's even more critical for semi-arid and arid Arab region countries where both water and food security are major concerns. Water is the blue gold and without any doubt, the most precious natural resource. It's not only essential for survival, but also plays an important role for developing national economies, sustaining the environment, and enriching social and cultural dimensions of societies. However, the report underlines the current waste and misuse of water 
that we witness in almost every sector. Through rich presentations in four training modules, we will illustrate that valuing water is the key for a sustainable future. With this, I would like to conclude my words and wish you a pleasant training under the guidance of our capable trainer, Professor Ali Karnib. Thank you all for attending. Professor Karnib, now the floor is yours.